Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. Uh, today, um, Clark and I are going to make our first attempt at making soft pretzels. So I found this recipe, um, I believe it was on Facebook some weeks ago, and I've been wanting to try it, so finally we're going to try it today. And it only takes two main ingredients. Seems fairly easy. You can do actual pretzels or you can do pretzel bites and I believe the recipe makes eight pretzels. We were going to try to make Mickey shaped, Mickey head like shaped uh, pretzels. I don't know, we still might. These are for regular soft pretzels but um, we'll see how it goes. I'm going to um, show you the ingredients and then uh, I'm going to get Clark. So, the first thing you need to do is you need to set your oven at 375 degrees for the pretzels. Okay, and I wrote all this stuff out. So, ingredients you need, you need baking soda and you need boiling water for a baking soda bath. Okay, and the recipe calls for... I don't know if you can read that, but for the baking soda bath and water bath, half a cup of boiling water and one tablespoon of baking soda. Okay, so I'm going to get my hot water here. Let that run for a minute. And then you also need um, one and three-fourths cup of self-rising flour. And you need one cup of plain high bella, plain Greek yogurt. And it was pretty hard for me to find plain Greek yogurt. I had to go to a few Walmarts. So we need a cup of that. So one and three-fourths cup of self-rising flour, one cup of the plain Greek yogurt, and then salt melted butter is going to be before you put it in the oven. And then the baking soda and is one just one tablespoon and a half a cup of boiling water. That's for the bath, for the pretzels. Ooh, I believe that's hot enough. So, let's get our half a cup. All right. I need my little measuring container, so I'm just going to, this is our mixing bowl we're going to use. I'm going to dump that so I can put a half a cup of water. Half a cup of hot water. All right, let's see here. Let me see. I believe, yep, that's a half cup. So I'm going to pour that in the baking soda. This seems like a pretty easy recipe. And I'll make sure I try to link the, um, I'll put a link in the description below if you guys want to take a look at the recipe and try it yourself. But this doesn't make very much, does it? I guess you don't need much, huh? Has to be hot. I might have to reheat that up here. Okay. All right. So there's our one and three fourths cup of self rising flour, and then we need the cup of plain Greek yogurt. So. Okay, so what your first step pretty much for the dough is combining flour and Greek yogurt in a medium bowl and stirring well until it forms a loose ball. So here we go. Okay, there's my loose ball. Now the next step on a lightly flour counter knead two to three minutes to smooth dough a bit. And then you're going to divide the dough into eight even pieces and set aside any extra if you want to make pretzel bites but we're just doing pretzels so let's need two to three minutes and I already set my timer okay well there's as smooth as I could knead up the dough okay and next you divide the dough into eight even pieces we're not gonna I don't, I don't think we're gonna set any aside to make pretzel bites so we're just gonna do pretzels so we're gonna divide the dough into eight even pieces okay not exactly eight even pieces, but close enough. 
Okay, now for the pretzel making part. Roll a piece of dough into a long rope and fold the ends over to form the pretzel and then repeat with all your remaining pieces. Okay. Okay, so I roll them out and these are going to be awfully, awfully small pretzels because I just shaped one or attempted to on the cookie sheet and put it in the baking soda bath. It got really wet, but um, yeah, that doesn't look very big. That's probably two and a half inches width. But self-rising flour, I'm assuming it's going to expand a little bit. But I have my melted butter I'm going to put on all of them when I get all of them on here. I'll show you when I get all of them on the sheet. Okay, that took a little bit longer than I thought, but um, they don't look exactly how I would have thought they would have looked. Um, the two small pieces I rolled up into ropes they were way too small to make a pretzel, so I tried to attach them to this one up here to make it kind of look like a Mickey-shaped head. Um, but yeah, they're pretty small. They're pretty, pretty small, but I'm really interested to see again how much they're going to rise and expand. But I think this one's the smallest one. And this one's the biggest one. But, um... Just brush them with some melted butter, which I did, and I always use vegan butter, and sprinkle with salt. Just a little table salt, which I did. I don't like a whole lot of salt on a pretzel. And then bake them in the oven for 20 minutes. And my oven's been heating, or preheated already at 375 for a while now. So, stick them in the oven. Set our timer for 20 minutes. Let's see. All right. Hot. All right, Turn the light on there. Twenty minutes, and we'll be back. Okay, so our twenty-minute timer is up, and they're pretty um, golden brown and a little crispy on top. But I turned the heat off, and I'm gonna let them sit for a few minutes in the oven, just in case. Make sure they're fully cooked. But um, they didn't turn out too bad. I mean, they didn't really expand in size. They plumped. So they plumped up, you know. So that one's still the tiniest one. That one's the biggest one. It's kind of, I don't know. Not horrible for a first try. But, you know, it's going to depend on what they taste like. Okay, so here's our finished product. And... They look pretty good. Depends on the taste. So since this one is the tiniest one, that one didn't turn out too good, too bad. I'm going to take a bite of this and and see. This is what the bombs look like. So they're they're crispy, medium medium brown, golden brown. I didn't burn them, so that's great. All right, so I'm going to take a bite of this one. Nice and crispy. It tastes crispy on top and bottom. Um, you can taste the melted butter that I put on it. And I don't like a lot of salt, so I just, you know, just kind of sprinkled salt, table salt, and just the right amount of salt. And it's soft inside. Well, I guess this wasn't a fail. These turned out pretty good. It's too bad it only made like six small ones. I probably, well, five, six, I probably could have made seven small ones, but I mean, I would, I would make these again. It's a little messy. It's fairly easy. Um, but yeah, I would make them again. So thumbs up. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'm actually going to be cooking in the crock pot for dinner tonight. And, um, so I may be vlogging that here, and so there might be a video up after a while on that. I got my crock pot ready. So, um, and it's gonna be, I don't remember what the recipe's called, it's a very old recipe, and I'm kind of winging it, because I couldn't find the recipe in my recipe book, but... You know, you just kind of use whatever little vegetables you want. I'm adding onion. It's it's a chicken. It's a, it's like a chicken casserole. Um, I think it's called 
Swiss cheese chicken bake or something like that, but I'm not, I don't use Swiss cheese. You can use whatever cheese you want. Um, but you're mainly supposed to, you know, you have your chicken breasts in there and you mix up a little bit of milk with some cream of chicken soup, just one can. And um, then, you know, because I mainly eat dairy free, I found some Daya dairy free provolone slices. So that will be on half. The other half, instead of doing regular slices for the boys, I'm just gonna, we gotta get rid of some of our shredded cheese. So I'm sure it's gonna taste really good. And I believe that's all the ingredients. So the, the sliced chicken, the chicken goes on, the cheese, I'm sorry, goes on top of the chicken. And then you put like, if you want any vegetables, you put that with it. And then um, the cream of chicken with a little bit of milk mixture. And I believe that's it. I don't think I'm leaving anything out. It's pretty simple. So, um, and I can show you that later on. What it, uh, you know, what it looks like while it's cooking. And I put, I always put most things in the crock pot on high. Four hours or so, that'll be about supper time. All right, we'll see you guys in the next video. Happy Wednesday. Well, these are so good. Try these. I think they're worth it. Bye.